Well, I've got another project here to do on my uh, 2007 GMC Sierra pickup. Uh, I've got to replace the door speakers. I have lost uh, three of the four door speakers in this truck. Now, the tweeters and the A-pillar are still working, um, but the only speaker uh, in the doors that still works is the driver's side door. Both rear doors and the passenger front door uh, have completely died. So I don't have the Bose uh, sound system, it's just the regular uh, stereo, no Bose speakers, nothing like that. Here's the speakers that I bought to replace them. They're these Kicker uh, model CS67. Uh, I'm not really into car stereos and I'm not an audiophile. Um, and the, really the only reason that I bought these is they had, they were very, very, very highly recommended in the review section. Uh, they were about $80 uh, for the pair of speakers and I looked all over, I mean there were speakers that were $600 a pair and I'm not, there's no way I'm spending $600 for speakers. So these were $80, um, pretty much most of the people who wrote reviews on there, and there were quite a few, there's over 90, uh, said they're a real great value. Um, they're much, much better than the factory speakers and uh, they're reasonably priced as well. Uh, also, that the company included uh, was these wiring adapters. These adapters, I'm not sure, we'll have to get the doors open and figure out how those work. These are pretty self-explanatory. And I also got these speaker baffles. Now, from my understanding, from my research, the reason that these speakers tend to die, and this seems to be a problem uh, with the GM full-size trucks, whether it's a Sierra, a Silverado, a Yukon, a Tahoe, uh, anything like that, even an Escalade. Um, there's a water leak problem that happens on the outside of the door here. Uh, it's, it's either in this seal or it's somewhere behind uh, the side mirror, something in there, but there's water that leaks down into the doors and it damages the speakers. So. Uh, so unfortunately I have to replace these. Uh, if my speaker still worked, I, I, I wouldn't be doing this, but nonetheless, uh, at least I'll get some better sound quality out of, out of these, out of the stereo. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get started working there on the driver's side door. All right, let's go ahead and start taking this door apart. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is take off this uh, cover here. Uh, the mounting bolts for the uh, side view mirror are behind this panel, but we need to remove it so that we can uh, lift up on the uh, door panel uh, to remove that. So we'll just pop this out of place. One more in there. So there's only three uh, little clips in there uh, that pop in here. So we got that off. Let's move to the next step. Next thing we need to remove is this little plastic door lock cover. You just kind of pry on this little thing and try not to damage it too much. I've been in this door before but you just pull out on this little keeper thing and then the little plastic piece just slides right off now on this vertical door handle we got to pull this cover off because there's two bolts behind here that we need to remove so there's a little notched area down here on the bottom just stick your little screwdriver in there pull it back and then the whole little cover just pulls off like that. All right, two more little covers to remove. Uh, this one right here is just below the grab handle. Uh, the lock switch, the window switches are all over here. We're coming here with our little screwdriver. Just kind of pop that up. And it just pulls right out like that. Now there's also, as you can see, there's two bolts back there that we need to remove. Okay, the last little plastic cover that needs to be removed is right here behind the door handle. So using my small little screwdriver, reach in there, and just kind of pop that little thing out. There's also one bolt there that we need to remove. 